Hi guys, it's Anthony Molinari from O'Brien Real Estate Blackburn checking in with our ninth edition of the Eastern Weekly Property News from our new listing in Box Hill North. Kicking off as we always do with a quick recap of what happened auction wise in Melbourne over the last weekend. Now there were a staggering 1,567 auctions conducted across the state, resulting in a very healthy clearance rate of 77% and the median sale price being 876,000. It's important to note at this time last year, the auction clearance rates were only hovering around 57%. The big news this week is the Reserve Bank's decision to cut interest rates by a further quarter percent, which is fantastic news for mortgage holders. There has now been 16 rate cuts since November 2011, and previous to that, interest rates rose seven consecutive times from October 2009 to November 2010. In other news for the week, CoreLogic Home Price Index was released, revealing a rise of 1.2% in February for Melbourne, which is steady with last month's growth and down a little from the 1.4% growth in December last year. Also reported was the council building approvals to build new homes, which fell by 15.3% in January. Now that's the biggest fall in two years. Approvals are down by 11.3% year on year. In broader economy news, we saw the jobless rate rise from 5.1% to 5.3% in January, and business investment fell by 2.8% in the December quarter. The share market has fallen dramatically with uncertainty surrounding future prospects. Generally, from previous experience, when the share market takes a tumble, the property market generally rises. And as the common saying goes, best put your money in property as it will be as safe as houses. Watch this space in regards to both the share market and how it may be relevant to the property market. A new listing that I'm standing at the front of at the moment and it's just hit the market is a brand new townhouse in the heart of Box Hill North. Two of eight Karen Street Box Hill North has been designed with the highest of finishes, one of only two on the block and no owner's corporation fees. This home is going to be one for the growing family. Featuring four spacious bedrooms, two bathrooms and a double garage, it's listed for auction on the 28th of March at 2.30pm unless sold prior. Lastly, a number of colleagues from the O'Brien team represented the network in last Sunday's corporate triathlon. As a first for me, it was an electric atmosphere and amazing to be part of. Congratulations goes out to Jason Mudford, Robbie Irwais, Craig Boise, Greg Bryden, Brad Spencer and the support crew of Ash and Michelle at the sidelines. I'm already looking forward to doing it all again in 2021. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you found it very informative. If you would like any further information in this week's property news, please feel free to contact the office at any time. Until next week, it's Anthony Molinaro, bye for now.